Hello everyone, I am Jeevan Jyot Kaur and today I will be talking about my project on bioinformatics approach to analyze variants in retinitis pigmentosa. So before I start my project, I would like to introduce myself. I am Jeevan Jyot Kaur. I am a research fellow at Pine Biotech and I am pursuing BTech Biotechnology from Amity University in Noida. And my research interest lies in genetic mutations, rare genetic disorders, genetics. So first of all, let's discuss about what is retinitis pigmentosa. Retinitis pigmentosa is a rare genetic disorder affecting the rods and cones present in an individual's eye that results as complete blindness. It is the most occurring form of retinal dystrophy that is inherited. The disease can be inherited by three inheritance patterns, namely autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive and X-linked inheritance. The occurrence of the disease is 1 is to 3500. A road cone dystrophy is the most prevalent type of RP with night blindness as the first symptom, then results in progressive loss of peripheral vision in daylight, causing the tunnel vision and eventually blindness in upcoming several decades. Although most cases of RP are non-syndromic, there are a variety of syndromic variants out of which the most common being Usher syndrome. RP is a degenerative retinal disease marked by pigment deposits in the peripheral area of retina with the core retina remaining relatively unaffected. Despite the difficulty, recent years have seen a substantial success in finding novel RP genes and screening patients for harmful mutations this is due in part to the advancement of high throughput mapping and sequencing technology. There are about 3000 mutations in approximately 70 genes that leads to RP. The treatment is seen to be challenging due to the involvement of vast number of genes and mutations. Future treatment for RP are most probably the stem cell therapy, gene therapy, and use of some supplements like omega-3 rich in vitamin A. The genomic data that had been generated for people with RP condition can reveal which SNPs are likely to cause the phenotype. To find such associations, GVAS can reveal variants with statistical association between genome variation and disease. In near future, a more extensive study of genetic and clinical data together that provides better understanding of the genotype-phenotype link may be able to offer critical information about disease progression and treatment options. My research question is to identify the SNPs that are associated with the disease phenotype and how mutated genes cause vision loss. The methodology for the project is data sets on retinitis pigmentosa was collected from bioproject PRJNA686229 Dataset was explored for variation using T-BioInfo server. Variant following pipeline was run and the Bauti per nucleotide conf interval binom 95 algorithms were used. The results obtained were, was interpreted using IGV to look for variants. Integrative genomics viewer software as used, which is a free tool for visualizing vast amounts of genetic data. For visualization, the human genome was set to be HG38, and then the resulted file to be uploaded was selected from the option file from browser. Analysis data was collected from NCBI. The data was available as a bio project, PRJNA686229. It included the primary data of exosome of whole sequencing of proband of retinitis pigmentosa. The analysis of data was performed by mapping, of re mapping on reference genome and calling variants using per nucleotide analysis of read coverage and statistical calling of significant variants. The figure on the left is the pipeline graph being used in the analysis. It starts with clicking on the start button. After that, few algorithms are used, including Bauti2, which is a rapid alignment algorithm for seeds, substrings that uses the FM index approach to align them to the genome. 
पर न्यूक्लिक बेसिक म्यूटेशन पर न्यूक्लिक इज एन एल्गोरिदम फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग ऑल वेरिएशन पर पोजिशन कवरेज ऑफ द रेफरेंस जीनोम कॉन्फ इंटरवल बायनोम नाइनटी फाइव बेस्ड ऑन विल्स थियोरम फॉर बायनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन म्यूटेशन कॉल बायनोम नाइनटी फाइव कैलकुलेट्स द नाइनटी फाइव परसेंट कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवेल फॉर द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ एवरी वेरिएशन एट द जीनोमिक साइट देन इट्स द एंड ऑफ द ग्राफ इन अलाउ द पाइपलाइन टू रन IGV integrative genomics viewer which is used to visualize vast amounts of genetic data SNPs are genetic variations that occur with a high frequency in a population the single nucleotide polymorphism database is a public domain repository covering a wide range of common germline and somatic variants as well as their known or expected clinical importance this database can be loaded from the server and archived snps can be seen with igv to view the snps from the genome option uploaded the already existing data sets chosen the all snps 1.4.2 results being whole genome the visualization seems to be difficult so the chromosome wise data was visualized the total number of variants obtained were 57 51777 out of which 47883 are single nucleotide polymorphism and 3894 are displayed as displays displayed as insertion deletion amazingly there are variants in all the chromosomes excluding the three chromosomes namely chromosome 1 chromosome 16 and y chromosome variant locations are indicated by dark gray lines once the variants are visible we can jump to the position we want to study and zoom out Each dark gray line gives us the information regarding alterations within a box. Figure five is the visualization of chromosome one with no variants in the IGV, and figure six is the visualization of chromosome five with the variants in IGV. Five positions which were unique based on functional consequences were chosen. The table on the right gives the information of alterations on the positions with their reference IDs of the chromosomes. Functional consequences of genes under study: due to single alteration in the sequence, the amino acid changed from lysine to arginine for RS one zero six two six four eight, which causes the three primer untranslated region to be altered and hindered the process. glycine to alanine for rs7594067789 that leads to the missense variant and the product changed glycine to valine for rs7697452111 that caused mutations in the intron region of gene rgr threonine to isoleucine for rs7518959901 that is also a intron variant and also lysine to arginine for rs7819559 is an intron variant the genes chosen are rho rhodopsin it is a photoreceptor required for image forming vision at low light intensity it is required for photoreceptor cell viability after birth light induced isomerization of 11 cis2 all trans retinal triggers a conformational change leading to g protein activation and release of all trans retinal belongs to the g protein coupled receptor one family opsin subfamily rgr rpe retinal g protein coupled receptor receptor for all trans and 11 cis retinal binds preferentially to the former and may catalyze the isomerization of the chromophore by a retinochrome like mechanism opsin receptors ADRBK2 which is also known as GRK2 beta adrenergic receptor kinase 2 specifically phosphorylates the agonist occupied form of the beta adrenergic and closely related receptors TF9B transcription initiation factor TF11D subunit 9B essential for cell viability TF9 and TF9B are involved in transcriptional activation as well as repression of distinct but overlapping sets of genes may have a role in a gene regulation associated with apoptosis TAFs are components of the transcription factor IID complex the TBP free TF11 complex 
द पी सी ए एफ हिस्टोन एसिटाइलिस कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड द एस टी ए जी ए ट्रांसक्रिप्शन को एक्टिवेटर एच टी कॉम्प्लेक्स ए टी पी फाइव जी थ्री ए टी पी सिंथेटे सिंथेज एफ जीरो कॉम्प्लेक्स सब यूनिट सी थ्री माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल मैमब्रेन ए टी पी सिंथेज प्रोड्यूसिज ए टी पी फ्रॉम ए डी पी इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ प्रोटोन ग्रेडियंट एक्रॉस द मैमब्रेन which is generated by electron transport complexes of the respiratory chain all the five genes involved in the pathways like protein chromophore linkage phototransduction detection of visible light visual perception organonitrogen compound metabolic process are useful for proper vision mutations in such genes can cause vision impairment the snps detected in the genes cause changes that leads to the mechanism disruption thus leads to retinitis pigmentosa here is a picture from string that shows that rgr and rho and adrbk2 are interconnected but the two proteins taf but the two genes tf9b and atp5g3 are not interconnected but they are responsible for the retinitis pigmentosa this is the description of the uh, biological processes involved and um, the columns are explained as count in network the first number indicates how many proteins in your network are annotated with a particular term the second number indicates how many protein in total have this term assigned strength log 10 that is observed by expected this major describes how large the enrichment effect is it's the ratio between the number of proteins in your network that are annotated with the term and the number of proteins that we expect to be annotated with this term in a random network of the same size so protein chromophore linkage is the most significant um, biological process happening between these five genes because the strength is 2.75 which is highest to fall false discovery rate this major describes how significant the enrichment is shown are p values corrected for multiple testing within each category using the benjamini hochbuch procedure heading towards the conclusion the positions under study and codes for different amino acids and thus translated to a protein the alterations in the sequences can lead to variants that cause changes to the expression of the gene and affecting the phenotype there were no variants found in the y chromosome as the disease is x linked disorder the study mentioned is to look at the snps that cause functional consequences the number of variants found were large enough to study the most variable region the above finding suggests that the sample observed inherited the disease in autosomal recessive and x linked inheritance pattern the proteins can be studied to clearly understand the mechanism of the mutation caused in the specific gene on specific position my future direction for this research is the structure of protein could be analyzed for modifications so the whole project was done under the mentorship of dr harpreet and i was able to complete my project within the time limit of 2 months just because of the continuous guidance of dr harpreet elia dr mohit and sonalika ray thank you